Ah, welcome back, guys. My name's Drew. You all know that. Beer for breakfast. Facts for snacks. Three weeks ago today, my buddy Shane, craft beer reviewer, review, uh, showed up. We did some videos, this and that. And he sent me something that, he, he, it's his home brew. It's his home brew. It's called Mosaic Mermaid. Um, I can't wait to get into this. I want to say thank you very much, Shane, for this. Uh, I'm going to throw it in my uh, Farm League glass. Now, 6.5% alcohol. I know there's going to be settlement on the bottom. I do my home brew too. Maybe tomorrow after work, I'll do my two-year-old red that's in the back of the fridge. A little iffy on that one. But, uh, yeah, so this is uh, Shane's Craft Brewery. That's what I'm going to call it, Shane's Craft Brewery. Uh, Mosaic Mermaid, 6.5% alcohol, 69 IBU. Says it's a little sweet. We'll see. I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you, Shane. Um, different atmosphere in the back here. Let's smell it. Ooh, look, steam, steam. Mmm, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. We got we got some head here, guys. We got head. I like head. I, I, I love head. I love some head. All right. That looks quite nice, actually. Wow. It is unfiltered. Yay! It's an IPA! Yay! I'm so excited! Look at that! My gosh! Alright. Alright, so, sweetness. So I do get malty smell. Hmm. Yeah, this one's hard to detect any smell here. It just smells like a craft lager. That's what it smells like to me. A craft lager with a little bit of hops, a little bit of maltiness. But doesn't that look fantastic? I'm ready to ha try this out. Thank you, Shane. All right. Mm. It's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, you don't taste the 6.5. Mosaic, for sure. The IBUs are in there. I would detect about 60 myself. He says 69. Uh, which reminds me, I cannot wait till spring when I get to order <clears throat> some Centennial or Citra hops. And uh, I'm just doing a big thing, right? Actually, if I... No, it's a mess over there. I'm doing a big thing. Archway with hops growing. So I could brew my own beer with hops. See, I brew my own beer. But I don't brew it uh, with with a bag of hops or anything. Because I just said... Uh, I, I haven't had the experience. I can't wait to grow my own hops to do it. This is fantastic for a craft beer. A craft beer. Buddy, this is a craft beer for sure. Wow, I'm. you did a good job. You did a really good job. I don't taste 6.5. Carbonation is there. I'm glad I have another one. Maybe I'll revisit that in a month time to see if it's any better in this. Um, but for Shane's Craft Brewery, guys. Shane's Craft Brewery brewery uh, funny thing is that uh, he's so small he can't afford any labels yet but I know this is a mosaic mermaid 6.5% alcohol uh, yeah he can't afford any any uh, labels yet but who cares it's great you know what for a craft brew home brew it's highly drinkable little bit of sweetness in there you get the hops for sure you get pine you do get a little bit of say I want to say mango pineapple mix just a little just a little and that's the sweetness in it uh, that's fantastic that's fantastic sorry it goes dark and light guys that's uh that's how it is with my phone so uh, it's fantastic, guys. Uh, and I'm trying something different. I'm trying a friend's homebrew. A craft beer, I want to say. Oh, excuse me. Um, this is fantastic. Try something different. And when a friend says, hey, you want to try my homebrew? Absolutely. Shane's Craft Brewery. You should, really should do it. I'm actually going to pour the settlement in. And I don't care. There's chunks in there. and Because you know what? I like to chew some of my beers, too. For a rating on this, guys, a rating. Um, 
if you had this in stores, I would definitely buy a six pack. Uh, it's better in Mosin Canadian. It's better in Budweiser. Now, I don't think it's better than, uh, say, Life in the Clouds, but it's getting there. This is very tasty. But for a craft beer, I would actually give this an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10. Where it should be in your... Go out and get it. Go out and get it, guys. Try something different. Shane, you did an excellent job here. Um, now I'm going to pour the settlement in because I don't mind a little bit of chunks. And I like to finish my beers, guys. I am going to rinse this out uh, really good. So the next time I go down... If I go, when I go down to see Shane, probably October-ish. November. I don't know. It's hard with my schedule right now and how busy I am at work. He's going to get these back. You know, that's how we are. Uh, that's how we roll. Uh, Shane, 8 out of 10, buddy. 8 out of 10. Or 80 out of 100, if you think about it. Excellent. Thank you so much. I am glad I have one more. And in a month from now, in, in the middle, late September, I'm going to try that one as a revisit and see if it's better than uh, 8 out of 10. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's support him so he can get some labels on his bottles. Have a great one, guys. Be kind to your neighbors. Be kind to your friends. Talk to you later. Cheers.